Hi everyone, Dr. Scott here, and today we are going to talk about the possible seventh hidden cause of your inability to lose weight, and that is cytokines. Cytokines are chemicals in the body that are produced in response to stress and or inflammation. If you have high levels of stress, and by stress I mean emotional as well as chemical, uh, you know, many people will say, I'm not that stressed, but they have no idea how chemically they're having symptoms or their bodies are being affected chemically. You can have toxic exposure to chemicals, uh, like some of my patients that work in nail salons or dry cleaning facilities, or you have a condition called a leaky gut. You can have food protein stress in your immune system. Again, there's lots of different stresses that can affect our bodies unknowingly. Point is, there are many hidden stressors. And if your cytokines are elevated, it can suppress thyroid stimulating hormone, sometimes not enough to show up on the pathological ranges, but enough to show up on the functional ranges. In order to find that if the cytokine elevation is contributing to your weight problem, you need to do the testing. We look at markers such as interleukin-6, interleukin-10 uh, to evaluate cytokine function. Once again, this is not standard test in your typical medical specialist. Remember, we are looking at function and trying to understand the underlying cause of your weight loss problem. Not just trying to trick your body into losing weight just so it can gain it back later. So the seventh reason you can't lose weight could be cytokines. Well, this concludes our video series on the seven hidden causes of why you cannot lose weight. I sincerely hope this information has been helpful and gives you some hope that you can have a vibrant, healthy life again. Feel free to continue looking around the site here, and if you feel that we may be able to help you, just fill out the form uh, for a free consultation or just call the office. Once again, uh, this is Dr. Scott, and keep looking and keep learning.